Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Hey, everyone. Hello. Hey, Roland. Hey, Dave. Hi, Cameron. Hey, Merlin. Hey, Friday. Um, the Goodell's joining us here in just a moment. I was just chatting with him, so we'll give him a moment. Uh, here is the meeting notes, uh, in the chat. Hey, everyone. Hey, Adele. Hey. Good evening. Good afternoon. morning. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm I'm comfortable telling you good morning compared to other time zones. Uh, so yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, I haven't I haven't talked to Ricardo today, so don't know if he's if he's gonna make it. Maybe we can uh, wait a couple, oh, well, okay. a minute more, because I think we're really late, but uh, a minute more and then we can, we can just talk through the agenda. I guess we can start, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's go ahead and start. Yeah. Do you want to uh, take that away, Ricardo? Uh, uh, run out? Uh, yeah, I'll kick it off. Okay. All right. Um, looks like a short one today, uh, but we shall see. Uh, welcome, everyone. It is uh, September 27th, 2024. It is 8.03 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, we're here for our bi bi-monthly meeting. Um, again, shared the, the minutes in the agenda there in the chat for anyone who just popped in. So please uh, sign yourself in there on, on attendance. Uh, if you, you have a moment to, to add anything to the uh, agenda, please do right now. Um, otherwise, I'll ask uh, everyone to take a, a peek at last meeting's agenda or minutes uh, from two weeks ago. Make sure there, if there's anything that uh, needs to be resolved uh, that we didn't move over, please, please uh, bring that up. So I'll give you a moment to look at the last uh, agenda, last meeting's agenda. It's right below it. I'll share my screen too. Um, as soon as I figure out how to do that. Okay. So there's last month's on the screen. OK, 
Okay, any comments on last month or last meetings? I guess they are factored. Oh, oh yeah, most of the updates, at least for the for the piece that will probably be factored in today's discussions. Yep. Okay. All right, moving on. Um, so today's uh, agenda, got a, uh, just a few items to report, some status reports, just a couple of new things. And um, uh, if anyone has anything else to bring up at the end, uh, please, please do so. All right, so I'll, uh, I guess I'll start us off here. Um, so I just actually had a meeting with the, some of the core developers uh, and Alex at the KGPT team. Um, got some interesting, you know, things in the cooker there. Um, they were interested in coming to kind of present uh, and talk to the group about, uh, you know, what's going on with KGPT. So I told them that would be lovely. So if, if this group is okay with that, maybe in our next meeting or two, depending on how the schedule works, uh, Alex and Eris and crew will uh, drop in and kind of give you the, the horse's mouth, uh, what's going on with the KGPT. Okay. Very good. All right. Um, more KGPT, uh, just to have something tactical going on here. Uh, one of those POCs was, is could we rewrite um, integrations to the tool as an external kind of component? So it simplifies KGPT itself um, while allowing people to add, do add-ons. So imagine making a, uh, a service, you know, service to service communication here. So imagine KGPT is talking to a service now to get information. So it was already, for those who don't know KGPT, KGPT already queries the API server for information and then uses uh, AI to, to um, make guidance, right? And so imagine you have custom tools running on Kubernetes. A uh, couple different ways to approach that. One is that you can modify KGPT itself to, to know to look for, you know, the log files of a particular tool or metrics or whatnot. Uh, another way is to, to not internalize it and just make a, you know, a call out to uh, what they what they call custom analyzers. So we, we took uh, the work we did with Caverno and did that and it worked. So um, now we're going to go back and debate if this is actually a good thing or a bad thing. So good news is there's a lot of um, testing of things. And again, for anyone here who might be looking to uh, just beat up some code around AI tooling, um, can can recommend KGP has been pretty pretty uh, light lift in that regard, and so it's not that uh, burdensome to to jump in and start doing things. Any questions there on Kate's? All on the the service now integration is it stable or is it flaky at the moment? Uh, for service now, I do not know. Okay, I do not know. Um, for my part, I've largely just been working around policy and CNI stuff. Nothing. Not a the third party. Yeah. Uh, actually, one more thing on KGPT before we move on because it's up top. Uh, I just put this in here. There's uh, for those in the Bay. It may it may be virtual. I, I actually don't know because it just got published this morning, uh, and I haven't read it yet. But Intuit um, is a, a user of KGPT, and I believe the developer of KRS, which is kind of an alternative to to KGPT. They are having a Dev Day on October 10th. Um, I believe it's open to the public. Uh, I, I, I am led to believe that. Uh, so I, I just need to, to make sure that that's true. And I'll put the URL there. Uh, Ricardo and myself will be speaking uh, there. I'll be doing a presentation on KGPT and uh, Ricardo will be on a panel discussion uh, about all these things as well. So if you happen to be in the Bay on October 10th, I think it's in Mountain View. Uh, and again, I'll update the link if I know it's cool. I think it is though. So uh, should be should be no problem if you're around to attend. It'd be cool to meet meet some people. And if you're remote, we'll see. Um, okay, uh, scheduling paper back down to the agenda. Uh, I'm sorry to say no update. I've just been super busy. Uh, kind of had a family issue. My wife uh, has been out of town for a month. So uh, just really haven't had the capacity to do anything there. So if anybody is waiting um, and wants to move it along, please do and sync up and you know, sync up and I'm happy to 
to kind of show you where we're at. Um, otherwise, um, all I can say is I'm trying to still get to it. Uh, I have talked a little bit um, behind the scenes to some uh, a couple of different organizations about scheduling. So it's not that nothing's been happening. I just haven't been editing the paper directly. So some of that feedback will also go into it, or at least you know, help inform editing. But if anybody has got capacity, I'm happy to share. <laughs> so I think that there are, there are some good contributions since recently uh, on the paper via comments. Today, I went through some of them. I also am occupied with other initiatives, other papers. Um, but I think we have a lot of useful and uh, good content that will need curation and will need, um, you know, for folks who who want to collaborate more closely on this, I think it needs rapid iteration. Uh, what we do for other papers is we usually have a meeting to iterate on papers. Um, if this is something that would make things uh, accelerate or, or accelerate the cadence of, of, of the paper, maybe it might help. Um, at least review the comments and merge and uh, restructure uh, if it makes sense. Yeah, so since since the second open, we have received a lot of comments. Um, right. And I think yeah. it, yeah. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Uh, I can't do any more meetings. <laughs> but, yeah. But, but yeah, if, if, if someone does want to organize and rally around it, um, I am not against it. Uh, it does need some some help maybe uh, call uh to uh leaders in this group who want to uh who have more time than <laughs> others uh in case you're interested raise your hand uh <laughs> i'd love to put my hand up I'm, i've got a book about to be published and my publisher's chasing me for final updates so that's just soaking up all my time hopefully after it's finally released then i'll have more cycles. All right, Josh. Excellent. <laughs> yeah. I also have a few different projects going on right now, so I'm already at full capacity. I think I will not be able to take on more. Busy oh. people. <laughs> no, no. If, if you're full, uh, Namisha, if you're full, we'll just add it to your list. You won't even notice. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I, I'm taking a flight tomorrow, so I can download it and read it on the flight and see what I can do. How's that? Hey, that's great. If it helps you sleep, then then <laughs> good idea. <laughs> yeah, please do. Because, uh, yeah, a good read through would could lead to good editing advice. So, uh, yeah, please, if you, if you feel up to it, please do. All right. Um, okay, don't need to continue there. All right, last one. Uh, I added you deep. Um, so, so good next steps going on on the uh, security paper, but uh, let uh, deep talk about that. Okay, yeah, so thanks. Uh, yeah, so I did raise first uh, an issue in tax security to uh, coordinate this one. And because in the last two weeks there were presentations scheduled in that meeting, tax weekly meeting, so it couldn't be taken the issue. And it might take some time because they're just trying to formalize the process. So in the meantime, I think that we can make progress. And I just sent last night a poll for our small group meet, whoever whoever have actually expressed interest in this paper. So please uh, uh, do actually uh, provide your uh, options over there in the poll for meeting. As soon as, soon as that is done, I'm going to call my, our first one and we'll uh, start quickly. I mean, I have done some work. Nimisa has done a little bit here and there, but uh, we just want to move on this one quickly uh, as a cadence of its own. So please do uh, go through the poll. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Deep. Uh, Frederick, hand up. So my my recommendation, I have a lot of experience with tag security here, uh, and um, what I what I strongly recommend is you get onto the agenda as quickly as, as possible, uh, which might be several weeks, uh, might be a month, month and a half away before you before something can get slotted in. Um, Sometimes things fall through and they need a different speaker. And so just make sure to mention that you're happy to have things move forward since there's uh, time urgency here. 
But at the very start of every meeting, what they do is they have a roll call. And in that roll call, they go through and they have a slot that you can put whether you have an update or not. And it's not a full speaking spot by any sense of the word. But uh, it allows you to say, hey, we have an update on the on the AI security white paper. We're meeting at this particular time. We have this particular thing that's going on at uh, for, for a poll. We have this particular, uh, so each milestone that you hit, just give it like a status report at that particular point to keep them in the loop and always tell them as to what time, whatever time is selected or the poll, always tell them that uh, what time that the that the next call is on, so that people who are interested from that community can just meander in uh, if they if they have the time to do so, or they can asynchronously join in and and help. So it doesn't need to be a full formal engagement in order to get their help. It's literally just keeping them informed uh, is, is enough to uh, to get them to join in. And if they choose to make a more formal engagement and then um, and then we can work out whatever that process ends up looking like. So that that's my that's my recommendation for uh, for trying to for trying to include them is to is to take those steps. Yeah, thank you, Fred. Actually, I think I have the same conclusion. Uh, I think I did add in the agenda formally in the last two one, but the way tax security one works is that if there is a presentation that takes precedence, and unfortunately in the last two weeks it went to you know an entire sixty minute. Uh, oh. The, so, well, those little those updates I mentioned before always happen, uh, and they always happen before the presentation. So, uh, so at the very minimum, you can get those those updates. But yeah, getting a full presentation, they tend to only schedule one unless there's like a really strong promise from the other one that hey, this is a really short topic. So, so definitely can can appreciate uh, the the trouble there because that, that's one of the more popular uh, spots to uh, to raise topics in since they're doing security audits they're doing uh, all sorts of, of, of other really great stuff so yeah so, so getting an actual full slot can quickly can, can definitely be a challenge uh, thanks for yeah, so, good yeah so that's why we, uh, we would like to make the progress those who are uh, you know uh, expert interest to work on this one so we we would like to proceed so yeah like i said just uh, uh, respond to the poll and and to to your point frederick i think we're so we're trying to plug through the process and deep already created an issue um on uh on their um git repo github yeah. repo right and that was recommended by the co-chair and so i think yeah it, it's gonna get there at some point uh we want to make sure that we're following uh the right steps to include folks from there uh because they're important to this paper they're key to this paper yeah, I completely agree. And, and that status update at the very front is going to be your your most important um, tool in order to in order to keep them in, since that, that process is is going to be slow. Yeah. All right. Uh, great. Deep. Uh, thank thank you, Deep, for getting that getting everything organized there. Appreciate it. Uh, all right, um, Dal, you're up. Yeah, so I, I've received a couple of comments from folks in the community about our um, our confusion about meeting cadence. Um, so what I did is, um, so initially, you know, it was uh, it was pointing to second and fourth. This doesn't happen always. And so I, I pointed to now if you, you know, at the top of the paper to the cloud native calendar in there, we have, uh, there's a cloud native AI working group um, cadence. And this is what, people should add to their calendar. I don't think we have yet. So we're not, we're a working group. We don't have our own uh, CNCF calendar uh, invite. Um, if that seems to be very necessary, we can approach that. But for now, this is the source of truth um, for folks who who want to join the call and who want to be in sync. Um, Cause I've seen, I've seen folks get confused. So I wanted to call that out. Um, yeah, so this is the first time, uh, one, and then the second time, and the second one. So I've not been able to make it to the last two meetings. I see Marlo here. Um, I've been making asynchronous updates to the meeting in the format, but Marlo, if you would like, since you were in the last meeting, uh, sure. would you like to give an update on that? Yeah, we're making good progress. I think we should start looking at trying to wrap up before KubeCon, so like in the next two, three weeks. Um, Namisha has stepped in and has been really helpful with 
uh, offering to fill in missing content. I have there is some other missing content, but we are we are getting closer to uh, completion. The one thing we can also do with that paper is because we do have a pretty good structure of how to look at these systems, we can actually use that for the other papers coming out, for instance, the um, the security one. Because again, it's similar environments. Uh, it, the way it's, it's split up isn't necessarily have to be just sustainability because we have um, cluster types and then we have user types so it's, it may be something to base off of going forward. I agree. I think that there's a lot of every paper we write, the, there is a lot of reusable content that we discover, uh, which is progress because we are mastering our terminology and uh, taxonomy. So that's good. So definitely there's a lot to reuse uh, across the stack. Right, and then the the other one is so there's there's a patented initiative around responsible AI, which doesn't look at tools, but more looking at dimensions of responsible AI, like security, safety, even you know sustainability is considered one of them, but um, um, was in the Linux Foundation's scope, and so here, uh, this effort is basically trying to align on a definition of what responsible AI is. Eventually, the second or third piece of this work or work stream will be how do we map these dimensions across the stack? And that will hopefully tie nicely to our security white paper that we're writing with the CNCF um, and then meld it with the Linux Foundation stack. Um, so this is this is an effort ongoing on the Linux Data Foundation. Um, um, collaboration with University of Washington and folks from HPE and folks around, you know, myself and other folks. Um, so if you're interested, you can um, go to Responsible AI and the Linux Data Foundation. It's now in its final forms, basically being packaged, but you can read the, also the, the work. And because there will be follow-ups on this work and making use of the dimensions being defined. Um, yeah, and finally, like there is an PR. So, um, for uh, merging, so we had two sections. We had a section about mission vision, um, and we had a section for charter. So we're merging these two. We're adding more information about scope. Um, so if you have any feedback or want to see something that you have not seen in here, uh, please leave a comment, and I'll try to address that as well. So yeah, these are. The, the comments I had. All right. Uh, Adele, thank you. See, the logo is going to make it. All right. <laughs> um, anyone have any additional thoughts, comments, questions? No? Okay. Well, I guess this will be a, a short one. So it's uh, 8.23. Um, we'll go ahead. Can and... I add? Sorry. Just one quick thing. Um, you may want to start looking for uh, demos in various spaces in this call. Oh, we had, they, they, they just, yeah, they just didn't show up. <laughs> but yeah, maybe we need more <laughs> plan B. Yeah, always check the day before. Yep, agree. Uh, uh, any, anything else? Okay, uh, we'll wrap this up. Have a good day, everyone, and we'll we'll see you online. Thanks, Roland. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Have a good weekend. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. See you later, everyone.